Welcome back, Cookaholics. We got ourselves a little mail order delivery. So, uh, yeah, I hit up uh, Chase Bates again. Um, they had a sale, actually still going on right now. Um, they have some big, big packs of a lot of the soft plastic baits that I like, like the flip-flop. And uh, so uh, I decided to uh, re-up on a little bit of my flip-flop wares and uh, grab a couple other items that I love. Um, I've been really, really intrigued by the squid baits that they had, uh, but they're mostly saltwater and they're a bit larger profile. And I wanted something for freshwater, and they did that with uh, what they call their flip flops. So uh, they had these these uh, 15 piece counts. Normally they come in a 10 piece, I think, and uh, they started selling them uh, for a limited supply. They have these larger bags, and they're 15 in a pack. So I jumped right on it. So uh, I went to chasebaits.com. You can go through, get all the list of their, of their baits. And uh, what I love about the flip-flop primarily, I'll take one out of here, is uh, it's just, it's a, it's a crawfish-like imitator. It's a beaver-style bait. It's a squid-style bait. And it's all molded into one. But the main thing is you got this, like, beaver tail. Um, it does split down the middle. You can break off the two little connectors, which gives us a lot of action on that beaver tail. It's got these two little tentacles, sort of like the craw pinchers. It's got bulbous eyes. It really is to imitate a squid, though. You've got your eyes. You've got your mandibles. And then, of course, you've got these frills. And these things, these little frills that they have, this soft, super supple um, material that they use in chase baits, um, they freaking rock as this is going down in the water if you're texas rigging it or reverse rigging it like i do a lot of my creature baits where i put that male weight in the head and rig it so that i'm my hook end is in the head and my my line tie is towards the the tail as these are swimming away in the water the water catches these little fins and these things just flutter and ripple along the water line and give you this really awesome awesome um you know aesthetic to the uh, to the fish i think will definitely trigger a lot of bites from a lot of large large bass um couldn't resist i love these i got these in two colors this time i got the mud bug color which is that like coffee uh motor oil color and then of course i got bama bug which is your you know green blue um you know candy color purplish candy so you got that purple hue and you got that green blue Lots of sparkle in it. Um, so for you got the Bama Bug. I couldn't resist. So I picked up those. Um, and I got two rough hard baits. They were limited on colors. Uh, they're pretty much sold out of all the colors that I really wanted. But again, top water baits, I like to go for the color, not so much uh, the pattern. Let me explain. Top water baits, your fish are looking up. You want to go in like a slightly overcast day. You don't want really huge bluebird skies. If it's bluebird, I go straight whites. I'll typically go with a spook, like a walking bait spook. Um, but when I'm going for other things like a frog, I try to go for semi overcast. But they're just looking straight up. So all they're going to see is the bottom of the bait. So when you're buying frogs, you don't really, it doesn't matter if it's got a leopard spots on the top or if it's got eat me across it like the Guggen Squad puts on theirs. It's really the, the breast and belly of the bait that the fish are going to see. So go with your standard solids, your white, black chartreuse. White colors for, you know, bluebird skies. Black if you're fishing some slightly dingy water. Um, chartreuse for really kind of muddy or, or stained water or even clear water. Those are the three colors I go to. And one of the things I love is pompadours. And I couldn't resist. Chase Baits had this out. You know, it was one of their first baits that they put out. This is two and a half inches. It's a two-thirds of an ounce 
topwater walking bait that they call the smuggler. So basically, it's a canary, a canary in a coal mine. <laughs> but uh, I, you know, just something about the idea of, um, like I said, I love the pompadour style baits, and that's basically what this is in a bird imitation. So uh, metal, metal wings, tie line ties just below the beak. And it's got a nice little rubber feather treble or feather, uh, you know, tail, double treble hooks. And basically the smuggler is just a pompadour. So as you're pulling this through the water, you cast it out there, comes back, these wings open up, and it just walks back and forth. It's, uh, let's see, does that rattle to it? Oh, sticking myself with the hook. Very sharp, sticky hooks. That's good. And it does have a bit of a rattle. So little quaff on the uh, on the top too which is kind of nifty so you got a little feather on the top you got this nice rubber skirt material on the back really good imitator looks just like a, a bird I went with the black because I wanted you know just basically a black profile skipping across I have lots of white uh, and chartreuse walking baits I have a lot of frogs um, but I thought why the heck not I think this is just cool not only does it catch the fishermen because it's very lifelike but hopefully with that pompadour style action and the displacement of the water, it will also catch fish. So I don't have, um, I don't have really, I do have high hopes for it. I really don't think or have any reservations that it's not going to work. Um, just because I know the success I've had with standard pompadours. Also, we are looking at this year, 2021, is supposed to be a huge cicadia um, uh, spawn. So every so many years they come out of the woodwork so expect your trees to be constantly chirping um, but this is another good bait to go to if you have a high concentration of those insects because it will obviously displace the water and, and disrupt the surface for those bass to trigger thinking it might be one of these cicada. Um, I've also got some other baits um, that I've opened up in the past that are direct imitators of beetles and, and cicada style uh, insects. But I thought this is another one to add with a little bit bulkier profile, but still give you that, that uh, pompadour action that I love. Um, it bloops and it, it walks, so it's a pretty good, uh, good topwater bait. So when that topwater bite is hot, I'm hoping to catch a monster on that. And also, only because, this truly was just because I just wanted one because I like stuff. I've got the snakes, I've got the ducks, and I decided to get the frill seeker, which is their lizard. Now, I don't fish in Florida. If I did, this would probably be in my bait and tackle box every single day, because anybody from Florida knows one of your scourges are, uh, are lizards. You got plenty of them. But I think the frill seeker works for me, not just as, um, as a lizard, but more along the walking serpentine snake style uh, wake bait. So you've got this one, that since I got the pompadour in black, I went with a light white tone for this one as a walking bait. It's, well, let's see, six jointed? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven joints, including the soft rubber tail, which I won't pull too hard because I'm sure it'll snap. It does come with a replacement appendage, a replacement rubber tail for short striking. Um, it's hard plastic head and mid body, only the tail is soft plastic and it's got a nice little frilly skirt on the on the neck. But you got yourself your little bearded dragon style lizard wake bait. I think this is fun. It's not a, a huge, huge bait, you know, comparative to my hand, it's very small. Um, so this one is half an ounce. So seven inches overall. So uh, I think that's pretty cool. They call this the dragon color. Uh, that was, what they call the smug smuggler color? I think it was, yeah, black cockatoo was the black color for the smuggler bird. Um, I just think this will be nifty. Again, when that top water bite comes into to action, I think this is going to be awesome. So uh, again, these are like specialty lures. Uh, a lot of it is sort of like catch the fishermen. Obviously, the flip flops off plastics. These are awesome. Um, that's actually functional 
in my mind, it has a lot of, of benefit. This is more or less just a serpentine weight bait. The analog of it being a lizard is neither here nor there. It's just as much as the snakes or, um, you know, weightless rigging a, a, a soft plastic worm, like a seven or eight inch worm, and ripping it across the surface of the water. Um, same basic principle to me. But I just like it. It's kind of cool. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this was just a, a, a thing. I, there is actually some stuff in Chase Baits that I might go back and get another order. Uh, I'm just debating. And when they do come in with some more colors, specifically the color of the smuggler that I did want, which was the whiter tone, um, I'm hoping to, uh, to grab the white smuggler when they come back into stock. But for now, they were limited on the varieties and colors of the smuggler, the frill seeker, and a lot of their other hard baits. Um, and with all the things going on, uh, obviously that ship being stuck <laughs> in, the, uh, in the channel, I think the, uh, the supply chains kind of got, got sort of mired down. I hope you enjoyed. As always, for me to you, tight lines. And uh, tell me what you think. Is, is the smuggler something you would throw as a, as a pompadour? Uh, is this frill seeker something that you would throw as a wake bait? Um, do you think chase baits is up there with, uh, you know, with the likes of Savage Gear and their baits? I think chase baits is a little bit, it's an Australian company, but I think, you know, they pay just as much attention to detail. Uh, they don't market themselves directly as being 3D scans like Savage Gear, you know, markets. Um, but some, some Savage Gear products, they, like, are almost there to be absolutely 100% accurate, like a perfect rendition of an animal. Um, where these guys, I don't know. I think they, they pull it off very, very well. I mean, they even put in the little, the little tucked-in uh, feet and legs. I mean, if, if you ever saw a lizard swimming across, they tuck their... Their, their arms in to reduce drag and they swim across the thing, so across the water surface. So I think they're just as good, if not better, than uh, some of the Savage Gear products. And some of the Savage Gear products, like the 3D Bat, that's also a pompadour, which you guys are getting one in your uh, giveaway. Uh, that also, you know, very, very accurate. In fact, better than, say, this, than this, this bird. Um, but as always, for me to you, tight lines, and I'll catch you guys on the next cast. Peace, Alcoholics. But that's not by speculation But the position that I got I climbed too high to fall Went too hard to drop